Welcome back, Sethling here. Today, Mojang released the 19W34A snapshot for Minecraft. This is the first 1.15 snapshot, and it doesn't include much new stuff, but it does include bees. <laughs> so these, these cute little critters, well, they're not so little, uh, will spawn naturally in certain biomes, flower biomes, and whatnot. Um, they have some cool functionality. And they are farmable. That bee is, is going away. Uh, there's, they're not definitely not done yet. The feature is not done yet. Uh, there are unobtainable honeycombs, currently unobtainable, but I'm sure they'll add a way to get them. Uh, but you can use those to craft a beehive, and you can pop that down. Now, if you have it, uh, well, if you have a bee, uh, he will often like to go to flowers. So we'll see. We'll see if he settles on a flower. Yep. And he'll start trying to pollinate it and or get the nectar or something. I don't know. Works for any kind of flower, including apparently wither roses. And so he'll do a little thing, try and get that nectar and uh, get pollen attached to him. Let's see if that happens. Should happen any moment now. Yep. There we go. And he's got, oh, <laughs> well, let's summon another bee. Uh, couldn't see. He basically gets, the bee gets, um, pollen attached to his booty <laughs> when that happens. I can also summon another bee here. Let's uh, let's have one with no AI attached to him so that it's frozen so we can kind of take a look at the model and everything. So this one, let's see if I can capture the, uh, the, the pollen on his booty. Now that other bee went inside the beehive over there. So there we go, there's the pollen. <laughs> so now there's two bees inside of here. Uh, if you just have a normal beehive, um, let's do data get block tilde tilde minus one tilde. So this is uh, this is a tile entity, which means it can't be pushed by pistons, that sort of things. Um, now, if also if I press F3 and we look at this beehive, we can see it has a honey level. Uh, if you look on the right side of my screen, there's a honey level, and it starts out at zero. It can go up to five. Um, so this one again didn't has no bees inside of it. You can hear those bees buzzing around. This one has the two bees inside of it, and so it's got this giant, <laughs> giant data tag um, of all the data for both of the bees inside of there. So there's like sort of like temporarily storing mobs in there, which is kind of interesting. I think that's the first time we've really seen mobs being temporarily stored inside of a block with all of their data, unlike say silverfish. Um, so th they'll be in there. They will take the pollen and basically create honey. Uh, it takes a while. Um, let's see if I let's do set block. Let's create a beehive and uh, I will set the honey level manually equals five. Oh, I already have a bottle of honey in my inventory. You can see the texture is a little bit different. Um, let's try it with like three. Texture is the same as empty basically. So it only gets a different texture once it's full. Let me grab a bottle and you can grab honey. Now honey will doesn't have any potion effects. Uh, it just restores three hearts. Oh, there we go. Popped out. <laughs> it just restores three hearts of hunger. And also, it is craftable into sugar. So this is an alternate way to get sugar. Not that sugar was particularly hard to get before. Bees are breedable. So if I hold a flower, you can see the bee is going to be attracted to me. He's going to try and follow me around. Um, also, if I'm like standing still, he'll try and land near me. And it's pretty cute. Um, let's summon another bee. So you can breed them with uh, you can breed them with flowers, and they will create a tiny little baby bee. I mean, it's still kind of big compared to a real life bee, but uh, anyway. And then, of course, bees are mostly they're they're kind of like uh, zombie pigmen in terms of are they passive, are they aggressive? So they're kind of neutral unless game mode survival, unless you attack one of them, in which case they <laughs> their eyes turn red. <laughs> They don't move particularly fast, so they're pretty easy to run away from and whatever, but uh, <laughs> their uh, anger lasts about like 35 seconds. And if they hit you, oh, that one turned upside down. Whoa, that was, I've never seen that. Oh, cool, because I'm holding a flower. They just don't want to even attack me. There we go. <laughs> All right, well, that's your protection from <laughs> angry bees, I guess. Um, let's go back into creative mode. But uh, yeah, they, they'll eventually lose their anger if you don't attack them. Yeah, there we go. So this one's not angry anymore. This one still is, but yeah, not too bad. So yeah, currently not super useful <laughs> because the honey, you know, it's not it's a non-stackable type of, type of food. Uh, no potion effects or anything, and uh, there's no way to get honeycomb. We don't 
I don't know. I can't, can't eat any honeycomb or anything. I think probably they'll eventually make a make it so you can eat honeycomb. Well, I hope so. <laughs> Actually, wait, honeycomb? No, that's like wax. Never mind. You wouldn't want to eat that. But um, yeah, currently there's no way to obtain honeycomb either, so you can't actually craft these. But I'm sure, I'm sure that'll be added. Um, yeah, I, I think that's I think that's mostly it. But uh, so this is the first new snapshot for Minecraft 1.15. I don't know if they're going to be releasing more, but I am pretty pumped for that prospect. If that he died, ooh, I don't know why he died. Let me figure that out. One sec. Okay, I figured it out. Uh, apparently, if they attack somebody, they will die after about a minute. So that's <laughs> kind of realistic. Um, the other thing is, I did misspoke. Miss, I miss, I misspeaked, <laughs> misspoken earlier. There is a way to obtain honeycomb. I was just unfamiliar with it. You get three honeycomb if you shear a, a honeycomb that has honey level three, and it brings it back down to zero. So uh, I don't know if that always gives you three. Let's try it a couple times. Uh, that one gave me, it looks like only two. Oh no, there's two in there. So it, all, it seems to always give you three. So when you shear a honeycomb, it's enough to craft another honeycomb. Well, let's let's try it one more time, just for science, science's sake, you know, get a, get a good sample size. One, two, three, yeah. So it looks like it's always three. So there you go. Uh, that is how you uh, get honeycomb. Uh, there is also apparently a texture for wax, some kind of wax, honey wax. Uh, that's in the textures, just in the new textures for the, for the snapshot, but it's not on any obtainable block or anything. But we might expect to see that in the future. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for what's in the new snapshot in terms of things you can actually use. There's some other like technical features, but I'm not going to go too, too much into those, maybe later. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you want to check it out, it's in the launcher and everything. So you can just enable snapshots and try it out. That's about it. Thanks for watching.